Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and this was not the video I was expecting to be recording today, but I wanted to cover the brand new little Sims SDX drop that we just received yesterday. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case on Monday when the EA app was down once again, so we literally couldn't play it for like a whole day. Honestly, I just wish they gave us a true offline mode for the EA app because it is so broken and it's so buggy still. But enough about that controversy, let's actually check out the brand new items that came in this drop. There is a little bit of functionality added to a couple of these items, so you can actually use them within your game, which is quite nice because backpacks have never been usable before, so it's kind of nice to see that they now have a reason for using them rather than just like kids decor in their rooms. Starting off with the items that don't really have any functionality, we have these two new signs. We have a circular version and a square version of it. They're called the square facility signs or the circular facility signs. I'm letting you know so that you can search them because I actually had a really hard time looking for these. I just had to scroll through all the base game items. These pretty much have all the same swatches except one of them comes in blue and then one of them comes in black. But you've kind of got the little doctor symbol that they use in get to work. You have like a no feeding zone which I think is kind of cool. Yes it's a cow plant. I kind of wish that there was a bird one here as well. You have a toilet one which I'm not gonna I fully thought that this was a police badge when I first saw it, but it is in fact like a top down of a bog. A little coffee or a tea sign, a bin, no littering, and then there's like a bin over here. You've got this little male one. Nappy changing, say if you have a community lot and you have growing together, so you have that available to you. You have the little changing tables, exit this way or fire exit. Dining, up, down, side to side arrows. Hand washing, stairs over here. I think it was similar who is like, why do we have an upstairs one and not a downstairs one? This just means that the stairs are like here, like stairs this way. And then obviously the fire extinguisher. And then we also have a door which kind of matches this. This is just like a base game recolor of a door that we already have, but it is like a full gender neutral bathroom. We have bathrooms that just have masculine signs. We have ones that just have feminine signs. We have one that, that has both, but this is kind of just letting you know that there's a toilet there. Even from just a gameplay perspective, having gendered toilets in The Sims 4 is just a massive ball ache because it means that you actually have to like scroll over to the toilet. You have to see what the toilet sign is and then you might accidentally not do that and then you might click a toilet and your sim actually isn't allowed in there because it's for the opposite gender. So I'm all for gender neutrality within real life and also within my Sims 4 game. So I kind of like that this isn't gendered whatsoever. Then we got a recolor of a base game backpack. These were the original swatch there was only five of them, which honestly, I use these a fair amount. Obviously, we recently got a backpack in Growing Together, which was this one right here, which kind of doubles up as like a little staycation suitcase, which I think is really, really cute. Obviously, if you go for stayovers, I kind of wish they had added the functionality that they just put on this base game one to this as well. Hopefully, that can be a little thing that comes in the future for those of us who do have Growing Together. But then there's some new plane swatches, which which are kind of cool. I actually really, really like these. And then there are some patterned ones. So you have a little watermelon one. You have this little like strawberry with like loads of animals kind of drawn on it. You have a camo one, which is basically the same swatch as this like gray caution tape one. You have this little void critter one, which has like a little void critter book in it. Again, this one has doodles kind of all over it, even on the little book. You have a little safety pin behind it. Kind of looks like it was made to to fit in with werewolves. I'm never gonna complain about new swatches that we get for free. I'm a really big fan of like telling personal stories and giving my Sims personality. And I think anything that can kind of show off that Sims personality is a win for me. And then we have a brand new item, which are these little lunch boxes, which again, you kind of have all matching swatches. This actually was not in base game. So this is brand new. Don't know why it feels very European. It's giving the Fjallra or however you pronounce that backpack, the Kankan backpacks. It kind of gives that sort of shape. And again, you have all the matching swatches. But let's get into the actual playability. So you can use 
apologies for any age sims, but I do have a teenager, a child, and a toddler just to show them off to you. So obviously the teenager has their little homework. You can actually live drag your homework into your backpack. You can then open it and it works the same way a fridge does, the same way the storage chests do in The Sims 4. And then you can actually access your stuff. We will actually have the sim do their homework yeah. and see if she has to walk over to the item. Uh, hello, are you okay there? Go here. Maybe if we have her closer to it, then it will come up. Open this up and do your homework, okay? This is a brand new save file, so this is a little bit concerning. Seems as if she doesn't actually wanna grab her homework. So you still have to drag it out of your backpack to then be able to interact with it, which I do think is a little bit weird. I imagine that, that she would have just like gone up to it and like swiped it and got her homework out of that. So it doesn't feel like it's been thought through the most, which is very, very unfortunate. But say if you wanna take your little toddler out, out on a little toddler play date, you can pop some toys in their backpack for them and then you can actually drag that into their inventory and it will be there. You can then probably live drag it out at somebody else's house and grab your toys out of it. Just remember to pack them up again before you leave. I tested this on a park, which obviously isn't a lot that is owned by me. You can live drag it out of your inventory, but then you actually have to go through the extra process of live grabbing the object that that you want out of the backpack also out into the world, which honestly just adds an extra step for players. Like why would I use this backpack if I then could just use my inventory and live drag it straight out of my inventory without having to take out the backpack first. You also can't like live drag objects back into the backpack whilst the backpack is in your inventory. So again, it's adding those extra steps. And honestly, I think it's nice for realism. For me personally, as a player I'm like I don't realistically know how often I'm gonna use this like out and about like I can very much see myself already getting frustrated with it whilst I was testing it because it just doesn't feel like it was expanded enough and it doesn't feel like it makes it any easier for the player whatsoever I personally feel like I'm gonna get the most use out of these backpacks if they are still in the child's room which they kind of always have been for me because they're just decor objects and then you can kind of tidy stuff away way into it like your toys just in case you want to like clear stuff up your sims can't actually like carry these around with them like they can't pick them up they can't put them on their shoulder or anything like that it's all pretty much to do with the inventory but just like I was talking about in my things that wind me up about the sims 4 video that I uploaded on Sunday I would really really love it if we had an inventory sorting system I know we have like filters but these still aren't the best I'm not gonna lie everything is still like mixed in with one another, which is very, very annoying. Also in this part of the video, I did a big long spiel about how this could actually work as like subfolders or subcategorization in your inventory, which is something that I've always really wanted to see. I don't think that filters are the best when it comes to the inventory system. However, you can't actually drag over a lot of objects that I thought you would be able to into a backpack. Like unfortunately, void critter cards can't even go in there. You can't have rocks in there. You can't have frogs. So these backpacks are definitely a lot more limited than I initially thought they would be. And then when it comes to the lunchbox, do you all carry a lunchbox? Why yes I do actually. Thank you for noticing. I again was talking about this in a video that I recorded not too long ago which was basically looking into mods for toddlers that could kind of help you make toddlers feel like more realistic, give them a couple of things to do and there was actually a lunchbox on that by the amazing Ravishine and this sort of has the same element of that. With these lunch boxes you can basically click on it and you can grab a quick meal or a drink so you can get any of the drinks that you have in your game available to you. Some of these only actually come with expansions so if you don't see everything that I have that would be why but then you can get them to come grab one of those. We'll get the kid to come get a ham and cheese sandwich. These can also so go into your inventory. So if you want to, you can kind of pretend that you're taking them to school with you. They just kind of like swipe it. They don't open it or anything. There's not like specific animation, which honestly isn't the worst.
worst thing in the world. I mean, as long as it's functional, I'm like, that's fine. I don't mind it not being like super realistic. I think this is really cute for you to just have in any Sims inventory. So if they do get hungry and you don't have access to food, like this is a good way to go about it. However, I will say it's very lackluster that toddlers can't actually get themselves a quick meal, which I find really, really weird. I mean, to be fair, toddlers also can't grab themselves a quick meal from the fridge, which I kind of get a little bit more because like fridges are very big and I assume that you if you wanna think about it realistically, you have like a child latch or child safety on your fridge. But a lunchbox, I'm really wondering why they just didn't allow toddlers to be able to do that. If anything, I was gonna use this the most for toddlers because sometimes I can't be bothered like cooking up a whole meal, leaving it out on the side because then I'll probably forget about it just for toddlers to be able to help themselves. So I would really love it if they actually applied toddlers being able to use this as well. Like I said, the get together one doesn't actually have the same things that we can do because it works like a suitcase and not a backpack even though it's a backpack named in build and buy mode so I'm like I don't know if they'd ever allow us to like put stuff in it considering it already has a different gameplay element to it however I am actually gonna have the mum serve up some eggs and toast because obviously if you have parenthood you know that you can actually pack things up into a pack lunch which I actually really like doing. I think I'm actually gonna do it more now. I say that, don't judge me if I don't. But I guess if you can then put that pack lunch into your backpack and then put your backpack in your inventory and like take it to the park if you're going out with your friends or something like that, it's like your mum is preparing you a meal, which I think is really cute. I can definitely see it maybe cluttering up your household a little bit more with like plates and empty cans. However, I do feel like that is really realistic. I have three drinks on the go at any one time in my bedroom. Three drinks simmer, that's what they call me. We are going to pack that up into a pack lunch. So these actually have like little durations on them so you can only really keep them for a day. But let's put one in the teenager's backpack and let's put one in the kid's backpack and then we will give that to the kid. Are you serious? It didn't actually go in there. Maybe if we, you can't. Can you put it in the lunchbox? Probably Probably not because this doesn't technically have like an inventory. It's because I have move objects on. So it gave me the idea that it was going in there, but actually it wasn't. Why can we not live drag pack lunches? Oh, no, we it's going green as if we can put it in there, but we actually can't. That is so weird to me. Like that is literally the functionality that I would use it for. Let's pick up a serving and like plop it down. So that's gone into the mum's inventory. Right, can we drag that? Is it because it can go off? Like it's a consumable? So homework can go in, which I'm assuming little journals can probably be put into them. Do you have to put it in in the world? Yeah, there we go. The journal has gone in, so we can pop that in there. But now I'm not getting the option to like open it in my inventory. I can only open it in here. This feels like I'm jumping down a fucking rabbit hole, but you definitely can't put a packed lunch in it and you definitely can't put even just like a plate in it. I guess that's kind of why maybe the team gave us the lunch box as well. Cause they were like, oh, I feel like people are gonna be kind of mad that you can't put consumables in the backpack. So how about we also throw this in there? Which let's test this. Can you put the lunch box? You can put the lunch box in your backpack. Real quickly though, I do wanna go just over a couple of swatches in in a bit more detail. Can I just say I absolutely bloody love this free cam mode. On the back of this lunchbox, we have a little alien giving like a we come in peace sign with a little spaceship. We have a little butterfly with like hearts and stars around it. The melon one doesn't really have anything on it. On the back of this, it looks like we have a little hand-drawn horse with also some hearts around. If you wanna be a horse girl, your dreams can come true. With this backpack, you have like a little frog on it. You have a little cat princess, which honestly to me looks like rat princess, a little strawberry. And then I'm thinking another horse like down here. And then on this one, you have a little freezer bunny, a little angry badge. I don't know what the yellow badge is meant to be. It honestly looks like a hot air balloon, but I'm not sure. A rainbow patch and a grilled cheese patch. And then on the front of the lunch boxes, you have this little werewolf patch over here. Like I said, it kind of looks like it fits in with werewolves anyway, with the caution tape. You have a little sim 
getting eaten by a cow plant, which is kind of really cool. And then what looks to be a little dash hound. McMuffin, you've made it into The Sims. And I do actually think these are very interesting choices because after this dropped, I got a comment on my Are These Pack Hints video that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago now. And it was like, I think you're right either about a space pack because there was a little alien on one of the back of the lunch boxes. And obviously the signs that we got, we got like a little doctor one, which is interesting because obviously Get to Work came with both aliens and doctors. So I'm thinking now, are we maybe getting better aliens in a Get to Work refresh? Like maybe we aren't getting like a full space travel pack. There are packs that I would prefer to get a refresh over Get to Work. I will say Get to Work is one of my least used packs. Like I actually would really love aliens to get a refresh. I feel like they as an occult very, very much deserve that because I honestly would use them a lot more if they were just better in general. But I do think it's weird that we've had like space themed things, which I will link my video that I talked about like potential pack hints so you can go watch that to see more of the stuff that I'm talking about here. And then also these signs kind of seem to relate to like some of the elements that we have in Get to Work and they feel like very officey and like community lotty. But then there is also the Grim Reaper Freezer Bunny, which I know there's been talks in the community about us getting a Grim Reaper career or some content to do with the Grim Reaper, which I actually want to do a longer video about because I do think it's quite interesting and there has been a fair mention of it. Some people also correlate the Grim Reaper Freezer Bunny to the guitar that we have within the game, which obviously I've talked about my like want and need for bands in The Sims 4. However, do keep in mind that this discussion was kind of egged on by Sim Guru Bat, which I love when The Sims team kind of tease things that they've put in the game. I think it's really cute that they add like personal notes or things that they find funny and like head nods to specific things. But this has already been debunked to kind of link to a future pack or like future content that we get in The Sims 4. I do uh, want to give a uh, content warning about miscarriage because there will be a slight talking about that right now, which I know feels weird in a Sims video, but it comes from like a meme. I wasn't aware of it, but Bat tweeted, I worked on this. Please check it out and let me know if you spot the tiny little Easter egg on one of the objects. A lot of people were like, is this future content? Is this relating to like past content that we're getting a refresh of? Like what's going on here? But Spongy Turtles actually replied with, did you put the lost comic at the top right? All these swatches are fantastic by the way. And it's this one right here, which is kind of like a grid and then some lines. And it's basically the minimalistic meme of found loss, which Bat actually shared over on Twitter. And also just a quick little heads up, if you are like me and you struggle to find these objects yourself, these are where you can find them. These are what they're called if you just wanna search for them. So I would love to hear your theories on that. I would love to hear your thoughts on this SDX drop. I actually really like it. I think it's cute. I think it's like little extra content. It works kind of well within the game. It definitely feels like a couple of things maybe slip through the net a little bit in the design process. I kind of would love to see a little bit more functionality. I wish that you could actually hold like food or at least a packed lunch in it. Like if you don't want to use the lunch box because they only have quick meals. But definitely let me know how you personally feel about this XDX drop. Like I said, if you have the base game and you load up your game right now, you can just download this for free. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.